Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a small um, sneak peek at a couple of the items that are coming out um, for Scrap Diva's October release. Um, this one's a little bit later than normal. There was kind of a delay in the dies, so it will be released October 5th. So, as soon as I got my package, I started creating so I can give you guys some looks. So, let me start off with the one, I'll, I'll show you the ones that I've um, used real quick so far, okay? So, first off is this one, which I love. It is called Shaker Bow Set Number 1. It has two different sizes. Um, so, you got the bigger one and the smaller one. Um, I have some samples I'll show you in just a minute. So, that is the first one I've played with. Here is one that is a single <clears throat> that I used and let's see about how it looks like it is about one two three about three and three quarters tall and it's about about three and three quarters um wide also so fun little shaker I just put a flower um, on top that I had already previously made. I have it filled with some little tiny gold sequins and then some orange stars. So love it. The collection I, I'm using today with these um, ones I'm showing you today is this older um, Frank Garcia. I think this is the very first thing I ever bought. So it's fairly old. I don't remember what year it doesn't say on it. But anyway, it's called Autumn Sunset and I loved how it had the pink in it you know, with the um, um, pumpkins and stuff like that. So like I say, it is fairly old, so. And all I have is this paper pad, which is just a six by eight. And I have some of the puppies and one thing of the chipboard. So not a lot to work with, but you know, you can make your own stuff. So anyway, here we go. Here is the first one. The other one that I made, so this is the larger one. The smaller one I'll show you in a minute because it's inside something else. Okay, so there's that. Okay, then I used this new set called Thankful Words Number Two. Okay, um, they are there are three different words in it. So, and this is different from um, she had a grateful and thankful word. Um, I think it was last month or maybe the month before, but totally different font and everything else. So, this is really cute because it's kind of you know more. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that. Just more scripty, and um, so it's really pretty. It's it's a good size. It is like five and a quarter. So what I like about this, I don't think I have any. Do I have any cards around here? Oh, hang on. <clears throat> What's nice about these car, uh, the size. Watch out, Wizzy. Sorry, I'm tripping over my dog back here. <laughs> is that they'll go um, across um, a card just perfectly. So this is, you know, of course doesn't go with this, but um, look how cute that is. And it's really fun for adding on to, you know, across a card. So anyway, so they have this one that's grateful. I've just um, used some of the pattern paper from the collection. And then I have this pretty copper um, slick glitter paper that I have in my stash and then I just um, stitch through it and I just stitched through the widest part <laughs> uh, so I did I didn't try and do the squiggly lines I, I would have just messed up and made it a mess so so we got the grateful and then we have thankful okay I did this one the same way and then we also have this one which I loved which is called blessed I love this one Okay, so those are what those look like, in case you're wondering. I'll stick those up there. Okay, and then I used, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, the rest of these I will start showing because it's kind of uh, put together. So then the first uh, mini album I played with is this one, which is called the Acorn Mini Album all diff different layering pieces and then you all have, have the layering piece for the top part of the acorn and stuff also. You get some leaves. There's um, two different shapes of leaves I'll show you. 
um, on here. Okay, so <clears throat> I haven't put this together yet. It's going to be a mini album, but um, I haven't put it together yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to, how I want to bind it yet. So this is going to be the front page. So this, so this is one of the layering pieces and then another layering piece back here. And here's what I mean about um, the top portion for the, for the uh, top portion of the, of the acorn. And then if you can tell, it's also embossed back there. Let me see if I can yeah, see that. It's the, one of the pieces in, is embossed. So, and you can use it or not. Cause so you, there's one that's, um, you can just cut it out plain without having it embossed, or you can add the embossing part of it in and, and do the embossing. So now I just tie some stuff up there. I attach some that pretty pink ribbon underneath here before I put this, and I put this up on foam. Okay, and then I attached a cute little squirrel charm that I picked up from Timu. Here's some cute little um, enamel dots. Okay, and then right here, I used this new die set, which is called the Victorian Frame. Okay, so you get the solid piece behind here is, um, it's the copper, I use the copper behind here, so it's a kind of a solid piece. And then there's this, the decorative part layer right here. And then it has a piece that cuts out this square, okay? And then there's a piece that cuts out this, um, so you can make it a shaker. It cuts out this uh, tiny little border right there. So this one is not a shaker. I just attached, I cut the little border out and made it, and I just attached it right back here with glue. And then uh, my square piece, I just popped up on foam. Um, after I stamped it with this fun new fall stamp set, yeah, this was called fall stamp set. I used this one right here so far. Hello fall. So we got farm fresh pumpkins, autumn vibes, fall vibes, grace, grateful, blessed sweater weather. I love that one. Pumpkin spice everything. Hello pumpkin and welcome fall. Fun, fun set. So anyway, that's what I stamped right there. And then these two leaves here, these uh, the pink and this pattern paper one, those two leaves are the shapes of the leaves that come in the acorn mini album set. So, and you get like, I think there's like four of each. So, and they're on a plate. So, I don't like a plate, but let me show you. They're attached. <laughs> so you can just leave them all together. Okay. <clears throat> and then it also has two words in it. I didn't use them on here. Trying to remember, I think it's hello fall. Um, fall is definitely there, and yes, hello, hello fall. And they're um, smaller. It's a smaller set, so you can see. There's the the fall. So it's only what about an inch wide, a little over an inch wide. So a smaller um, sentiment with that. So that is that. And I just put a little flower here. This is a, a gold flower that I had in my stash. I don't don't remember where it came from. And then I tied the tiniest little um, just twine, real thin like twine bow back there, just plain, you know, um, natural color. Okay, so there's that. And the back, I haven't dec I didn't decorate the back. I've just um, I just added on the little this little piece. So you can see this little piece is without the stem and it's not embossed. So that layering piece comes with it also. Okay, so that was the, that's kind of the first page. And I, this is, like I say, this isn't finished. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it together yet, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of what it actually looked like cut out and stuff. So this is the next page. I've used the word blessed um, across here. It just hangs off a little bit off the sides there, which I'm cool with. And then I made a little tiny, tiny little flower this is a chipboard piece, and then I tied a tiny little burlap bow there. Not burlap, but like a twine bow right there. Okay. Pop my deer up on foam. So, and he's only attached like right up here, so the picture could still go under there if I decide to use it as an album. The back side, I just did this layering piece again, and then this is a some cute little mushroom things. I don't remember if I bought these or if I was gifted them. But anyway, it's kind of a foam, foam type piece, and I just took my knife and sliced it in half so they lay flat and then this little cabochon I added on here so that's another page 
Okay, and then here's the next page. Okay, so I have this, <laughs> had this elastic trim stuff with this copper and in my stash forever. And I thought, okay, here's a good time to use it. I don't, I haven't used copper very much, so let's use this. <laughs> so I guess got that attached just here and here so I can slide a picture down there if I want or something else if I decide to make this a, you know, like an embellishment album or something like that. Okay, and then a cute little cabochon down here again. Okay, then here's the um, this Victorian frame again. So um, it's got a, a plain piece on the back and then the layered, you know, um, decorative piece. Here is um, this piece right here. I cut I cut this piece right here, the decorative piece again, and you can see how it has that stitch line around. I just cut this again after I, you know, centered it on my image that I wanted, and then I just, you know, trimmed around where the, um, the stitch line was, and then I just mounted up on foam, and then I got a little um, puppy sticker there. So very simple. And then here's the back. Okay, so here's where I used, I decided to go ahead and put this on. This is the other shaker bow. Okay, this is the smaller one. So let me show you the, so you can compare the difference. So here's the two side by side. So this one I trimmed in pink and got some pink and kind of peachy color and gold um, sequins in there. And then I attached one of these cute little like um it's kind of like a tool trimmed bow it's kind of like that trim i have right here um but it's like it came like this all circled into like a flower shape so i just had to glue it on <laughs> i thought it turned out cute so there's just the back <coughs> so that's what i have so far i want to share all those with you and like i say i'm not done with this <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry guys I have been having a sneezing fit today, so that was out of the blue. Okay, so like I say, I haven't decided how to put this together yet, how I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I want to put a ring somewhere or if I want to put tabs or I'm just not sure what I want to do yet. So I'm not doing anything yet until I decide, but I want to share with you what it looked like and what the bows look like. And I love this Victorian frame. It's so cute. So anyway, that's my quick share for today. Um, these will be available in the shop on October 5th. I will link Erica's shop down below and I will list my discount code. Feel free to use that to save yourself some money. And um, I will come back on the night of the release and um, add all the links to all the dies um, that I have anyway. I can link them all, I guess. And then, because um, I only got like, I think I got 12 of the 15 dies that came out um but i will um link those the night of that's supposed to come out once they're live so you guys can find them easy anyway that will be on my unboxing video i always go back to my unboxing video and add those in okay thank you so much for watching see you soon bye